Hello there, welcome to this video. In today's video we will discuss the convolutional neural network and how it works. Before that, do you know? CNNs were first introduced in the late 1980s by Jan LeCun, but it wasn't until the early 2010s that they began to be widely used in computer vision tasks. CNNs are based on the structure of the human visual system, with layers of neurons that process and analyze visual data in a hierarchical manner. The convolutional layer is the key component of a CNN, it applies a set of filters to the input data which detects specific features such as edges, textures, and shapes. Feel free to like and share this video in your network, and help others to learn and grow. So, have a look, what we will be taking away from this videos. Firstly, we will look into what is CNN or Convolutional Neural Network. Secondly, we will deep into how does the CNN work. Then step down with training of Convolutional Neural Network. Fourthly, advantages and disadvantages of CNN. Then applications of Convolutional Neural Network. And lastly we will sum up with conclusion. So without further ado, let me deep you to the today's video. What is what is CNN or Convolutional Neural Network? CNN or Convolutional Neural Network is a type of deep learning neural network that is designed to process and analyze visual data. It is commonly used for image and video recognition, object detection, and other computer vision tasks. CNNs consist of multiple layers of neurons, with each layer processing and analyzing the input data in a different way. The layers are organized in a hierarchical structure, with the first layers analyzing low-level features such as edges and textures, and the later layers analyzing higher-level features such as shapes and objects. CNNs are highly effective at recognizing patterns and features in visual data and have been used in a wide range of applications, including self-driving cars, medical imaging, and image search engines. How does the Convolutional Neural Network CNN, work? The Convolutional Neural Network CNN, works by processing and analyzing visual data in a hierarchical manner. The process begins with the input layer, where the raw visual data is fed into the network. The data is then passed through multiple layers of neurons, each performing a specific task. The first layer of neurons, called the convolutional layer, applies a set of filters to the input data. These filters are designed to detect specific features in the data, such as edges, textures, and shapes. The filters slide over the input data, analyzing small regions at a time, and outputting a set of feature maps. These feature maps are then passed through the next layer of neurons, called the pooling layer, which reduces the resolution of the feature maps, making the network more robust to small changes in the input data. After passing through multiple convolutional and pooling layers, the feature maps are then passed through fully connected layers, which analyze the high-level features of the data. The fully connected layers use the information from the previous layers to make predictions about the input data, such as classifying an image as a specific object. Finally, the output of the CNN is passed through a final layer, called the output layer, which produces the final predictions of the network. These predictions can be used for tasks such as image classification, object detection, and semantic segmentation. Overall, the CNN works by analyzing the visual data in multiple layers, with each layer detecting and analyzing different features in the data. The final predictions of the network are based on the information gathered from all of the layers, making CNNs highly effective at recognizing patterns and features in visual data. Training of Convolutional Neural Network CNN. The training process of a convolutional neural network CNN, involves adjusting the weights and biases of the neurons in the network to minimize the error between the network's predictions and the actual labels of the input data. Data preparation, the first step in training a CNN is to prepare the training data. This typically involves resizing the images to a standard size, normalizing the pixel values, and splitting the data into training and validation sets. Forward propagation, once the data is prepared, the CNN uses the input data to make predictions about the labels. This process is called forward propagation, during which the input data is passed through the layers of the network, and the output of each layer is used as input for the next layer. Back propagation, after the predictions are made, the error between the predictions and the actual labels is calculated. 
This error is then used to adjust the weights and biases of the neurons in the network, using a technique called backprop backpropagation. Gradient descent backpropagation uses a technique called gradient descent to adjust the weights and biases of the network. Gradient descent is a method that finds the minimum error by adjusting the weights and biases of the network in small steps in the direction of the steepest error reduction. Training and validation The training process is repeated multiple times, using different batches of data and updating the weights and biases of the network with each iteration. The validation set is used to evaluate the performance of the network during the training process and to prevent overfitting. Fine-tuning, once the CNN is trained, the network can be fine-tuned by adjusting the hyperparameters, such as the number of layers, the number of neurons, and the learning rate. This step is important to achieve optimal performance and prevent overfitting. Overall, training a CNN involves preparing the data, passing the data through the network, adjusting the weights and biases of the network to minimize the error, and fine-tuning the network to achieve optimal performance. Advantages of Convolutional Neural Network CNN. Effective at recognizing patterns and features, CNNs are highly effective at recognizing patterns and features in visual data, making them well-suited for tasks such as image classification, object detection, and semantic segmentation. Handling large amounts of data, CNNs are able to handle large amounts of data, making them well-suited for tasks such as image classification and object detection where there may be thousands or even millions of images. Robust to translations and rotations, CNNs are robust to translations and rotations of the input data, meaning they can still make accurate predictions even when the input data is slightly shifted or rotated. Automatically learn features, CNNs are able to automatically learn features from the data, which reduces the need for manual feature extraction, making the network more, more efficient and effective. Handling multiple inputs, CNNs can handle multiple inputs of different sizes and shapes, making them well-suited for tasks such as video recognition and object detection where the input data may have varying dimensions. Real-time processing, CNNs can be used for real-time processing and real-time decision-making, making them well-suited for tasks such as self-driving cars and video surveillance. Handling multiple channels, CNNs are able to handle multiple channels of input data, such as color images, making them well-suited for tasks such as image segmentation and object detection where color information is important. Disadvantages of Convolutional Neural Network, CNN Requires large amounts of data, CNNs require large amounts of data to train effectively, making them less suitable for tasks where there is limited data available. Requires large amounts of computational power, CNNs require large amounts of computational power to train, making them less suitable for tasks where computational resources are limited. Prone to overfitting, CNNs can be prone to overfitting, particularly when the amount of training data is limited. Overfitting occurs when the network is trained to fit the training data too closely, resulting in poor performance on new, unseen data. Limited interpretability, CNNs can be difficult to interpret, making it challenging to understand how the network is making predictions and what features it is using. Sensitive to noise and outliers, CNNs can be sensitive to noise and outliers in the input data, which can negatively impact the performance of the network. Requires large amount of memory, CNNs requires large amount of memory to store the weights and biases of the network, making them less suitable for tasks where mem memory resources are limited. Limited scalability, CNNs are limited in their scalability, making it difficult to use them in tasks that require processing large amounts of data in real time. Applications of Convolutional Neural Network, CNN Image classification, CNNs are commonly used for image classification tasks, where the goal is to identify the object or scene in an image. Object detection, CNNs are also used for object detection tasks, where the goal is to locate and identify multiple objects in an image or video. Semantic segmentation, CNNs can be used for semantic segmentation tasks, where the goal is to assign a semantic label to each pixel in an image. Face recognition, CNNs can be used for face recognition tasks, where the goal is to identify and verify individuals based on their facial features. Image generation, CNNs can be used for image generation tasks, where the goal is to generate new images based on a given input. Image captioning, CNNs can be used for image captioning tasks, where the goal is to generate a textual description of an image. 
Video analysis CNNs, can be used for video analysis tasks, such as object tracking, activity recognition, and scene understanding. Self-driving cars CNNs, can be used for object detection and recognition in self-driving cars, helping the car to understand and interact with the environment. Medical imaging CNNs can be used for medical imaging tasks, such as image segmentation and diagnosis, to help with early detection and treatment of diseases. Robotics CNNs can be used in robotics to help robots understand and interact with the environment, such as object detection and grasping. In conclusion, Convolutional Neural Network CNN, is a type of deep learning neural network that is designed to process and analyze visual data. CNNs consist of multiple layers of neurons, with each layer processing and analyzing the input data in a different way. The layers are organized in a hierarchical structure, with the first layers analyzing low-level features such as edges and textures, and the later layers analyzing higher-level features such as shapes and objects. The training process of a CNN involves adjusting the weights and biases of the neurons in the network to minimize the error between the network's predictions and the actual labels of the input data. CNNs have many advantages such as recognizing patterns and features in visual data, handling large amounts of data, being robust to translations and rotations, automatically learn features and handling multiple inputs. However, CNNs also have some disadvantages such as requiring large amounts of data, requiring large amounts of computational power, prone to overfitting, limited interpretability and sensitive to noise and outliers. CNNs have many applications in different fields such as image classification, object detection, semantic segmentation, face recognition, image generation, image captioning, video analysis, self-driving cars, medical imaging and robotics. Hope you find this video valuable, feel free to like, share and subscribe this channel. Your single, like on this video, keeps us motivated to bring more valuable content like this. Thank you for your support. See you in the next video. Till then keep learning, keep growing.